Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to do a recipe from my new cookbook called the Easy Chinese Cookbook and it's available on Amazon now. So uh, we will do cashew chicken. But before I get started, I want to do a disclaimer. The demonstration that I'm going to give to you is not exactly the way you would want to do this when you're at home. When you stir fry, before you turn the heat on, you want to make sure that everything is prepped and ready to go so that you won't be rushing around trying to figure out what to do because it literally comes down to seconds in terms of timing. So, with that being said, I'm going to be doing some prep live just so you can see how that happens. Just remember the heat theoretically is not on and you're not stir frying at the same time. So, um, I'm using a cast iron wok, which is my, my go-to. And the other thing I should let you know is that I'm not going to explain how to cook rice today, at least not in detail, but the rice is already done. And part of that is because the uh, stir-fry happens so quickly that sometimes um, in the demo the rice might not be completely cooked. So what I've done is I've preheated the wok, and um, what I'm going to do is I am going to put in some avocado oil when it's time to cook. I like avocado oil because it reaches about 500 degrees before it actually starts to smoke. And you want to be just below the smoking point uh, when you're stir frying. So that's what I'll be using. If you don't have that, you can certainly use uh, vegetable oil. But just remember that it will probably start to smoke about uh, maybe 100, 125 degrees lower than the avocado oil. So let's start. You want to put things into the wok in the order that you want them to cook. In this case, carrots take quite a while to cook. So what you want to do is you want to cut, the, cut these carrots up. And you'll see I'm doing what's called a roll cut. I'm cutting at about a 45 degree angle and I cut and then I'll give it a quarter of a turn, quarter of a turn, just like that. And what you'll get is you'll get these uni uniform size but irregular shaped carrots and a lot of the interior is going to be exposed to the heat of the wok and that's what you want. If I cut these just as coins, there's only two sides that are going to be exposed to the heat. And they won't cook as fast. So there's carrot, by the way, I just wash this carrot. I don't, um, I don't peel them. So what I'll do now is I'm going to prepare our fresh garlic. And that's pretty simple. You just put it right there. And just like that, and we'll just cut that up. And this, what's nice about this is that when you crush it, you release a lot of the flavors, but it also gives you pieces of garlic, so that if you like to chew on your garlic, you can do that. And if you like it more finely chopped, just take a little bit more time. So garlic burns easily, so we're not going to put that in alone. Here's some fresh ginger. And the way I do the ginger is I cut it so that I cut it against the grain, so the grain is really short going this way, so that when I hit it, you can see it starts to break up that grain, and then Just chop that right up. And again, we've got some nice pieces of ginger, but because we've crushed it, we're going to release a lot of the flavor. There we go. Crushed it. 
and you can see this cleaver is nice and sharp. But because of that wide blade, I'm able to use the side of the blade to control that cutting edge. All right. So we've got this mixture of ginger and garlic and our carrots. So let's, let's put in our oil. I preheated this wok. And we'll know the oil is, is hot enough because it will start to roil and it starts to smoke a little bit. And before it smokes too much, we'll put in our ginger and garlic and our carrots. So when you stir fry, that sizzling sound is what you want. And you want to maintain that sizzling right through the stir frying process. Stir frying is technically what we call a dry process. We're not going to put in any liquid or anything like that. Just the juices from what we're cooking. The sauce will go in at the end. We don't put the sauce in while we're stir, stir frying. All right. So, while that's softening up, what we'll do now is we will cut up our chicken. Since this is cashew chicken, I like to use chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs, because they have a fair amount of fat. And as I like to say, and people that have taken my classes know, fat is an acronym that stands for flavor and taste. So I'm just cutting these up into bite-sized cubes. I like to say that when you stir fry, you wanna cut things up into chopstick-sized pieces. So that's pieces that you can just pick up with a chopstick and pop into your mouth. What's great about uh, stir frying, when you cut things up, you actually are able to cook things much faster. And I'm just going to give this a quick stir. That sizzling, remember I told you, you want to maintain that sizzling. Okay, you can see the carrots has started to caramelize. That'll make them nice and sweet. And soften them up a little bit. Generally in stir frying, you don't want to have soggy vegetables. You really want to just seal those guys right up. All right. So while that's um, happening, let me just rinse off my uh, blade here. That nice sizzling sound. So another thing I should note is that any proteins that you put in, you want them to be as close to room temperature as possible. You certainly don't want to throw in anything frozen, and you prefer that it not be cold, because that, what that will do is it will drop that temperature right down. All right. So let's put in our onions now. And what we'll do is we'll take a uh, medium-sized onion, quarter it, and then we'll just cut that into half-inch slices. And put those right in. These are mild yellow onions. If you want a little bit stronger flavor, you could certainly use uh, the red onions, are a little bit more robust. 
If you want milder onions, the uh, sweet Vidalia onions are very nice. All right, so we put these onions in now. We don't want to caramelize them. We really just want to get that flavor into the dish and we want them to break up a little bit. All right, and we have not turned the heat down on this. All right, so the chicken is almost done. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put together the sauce for the cashew chicken. We're gonna put in exactly four tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use gluten-free if you want. We'll put in two tablespoons of honey. It's worth the wait. And this is honey from my good friend Linda, Linda Murphy. So that's a couple tablespoons there. You don't have honey, you could use maple syrup. You're good. Now you have a choice. We're going to put in sesame oil. Sesame oil is for flavoring only. You don't stir fry with it. You could, if you want it to be spicy, here's um, hot sesame oil. If you want it milder, you can use uh, just regular toasted sesame oil. I got permission to put in a teaspoon of hot sesame oil. And to form the glaze, we'll put in a teaspoon of cornstarch. And we'll just whisk this all together. So this will be ready for us to add when we've finished all our other ingredients. So let's go back over here. Look at those carrots. And you can play around with the vegetables. Another vegetable that I would use at around the same time that I put carrots in would be Brussels sprouts. Good. So let's add these are sweet red peppers that I've diced up, again, into chopstick-sized pieces. And just mix those right in. And we don't want those to get soggy at all. All I want is I want the flavor of the ginger and the garlic and the oil mixed in there to touch it. So as soon as they're all nice and shiny, we will then add our cashews. And the recipe calls for dry roasted, which is great. However, I've had some people say they really like using the uh, glazed, the sweet uh, cashews, the honey cashews. Those are pretty good. And salted cashews, if you want more salt. But remember, we have a fair amount of salt. Okay. And again, that heat continues. So the last vegetable that we'll add in terms of the stir fry is going to be some bok choy. Bok choy is a Chinese cabbage, member of the mustard family. Has a nice green leaves and a very crunchy stalk. And we'll just slice this right up. And really this, we just want to just lightly wilt it. I lost it and kind of full. So what's happening is that the heat 
is going to release that nutty flavor in the cashews. Our chicken is cooked. And so, we are ready to put in our glaze. So this is going to stop that searing process. There we go. So remember that sauce is at the very end. And what you'll see is that cornstarch that was mixed in will start to thicken that sauce and it will coat our dish. Suddenly everything gets quiet. And the last thing that we'll put in will be some garnish. And what we'll do, these are scallions. I've cut them into probably one inch pieces. And what I do with the, the scallions is I bruise them before I put them in just to get some of that flavor in. I noticed that we have, uh, it's springtime, so we've got some chives out in the garden. So if you wanted to, you could replace the scallions with your fresh chives that are coming up. There we go. And just shake that heat right off. So the thing about stir fry is you want to eat it as soon as possible. You don't want to let it sit around. All right. So here's our rice. Bowl. And uh, this is uh, white rice mixed in with some wild rice. You can just pick that up at the grocery store. There we go. And then let's grab some, some of this cashew chicken here. Yum. So there you have it. Cashew chicken from my new cookbook. Mmm. A little spicy. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.